Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at very small DC solar pump. You can run this with a 5 volt adapter, a 12 volt adapter and you can run this using a solar panel also. And the reason I got this is because I will be installing this in a bird bath which, be, which will be run by solar. So this is the small pump that I bought for uh, uh, about $4. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. So the box is empty and this is what you get. Now when I looked at the pump, uh, there's a word that I very rarely use which is called cute. The pump looks fairly cute. It is very very small. I've never seen something like this before. And it also comes with a small uh, bracket so that you can install it anywhere you like. So once the bracket goes on top, you can put a small piece of board or any surface and then you can... Uh, secure the pump using this uh, screw holes so let me just remove it and show you the close-up of the pump so this is the intake of the pump and this is the output of the pump as you can see this is a brushless uh, DC pump and as you can see the voltage on the pump is to 4.2 watt the maximum water it can pump is 240 liter per hour and it takes DC 12 volt but on the uh, product page it says that it can take uh, 5 volt up to 12 volt so first I'm going to try to run this pump with a 5 volt DC. So let's just see whether it will run on a 5 volt DC or not. So I've got myself a broken 5 volt USB cable and as you can see the cable is terminating into 4 wires. The two wires are your red wire and a black wire which is our positive and negative. So let me just plug it in in a charger. Here I've got a 5 volt charger. So let me just plug it in. So I've just plugged the cable in Here I've got the uh, two cables and on the pump you can see that we have two cables one is red one is black so let me just connect the red to the red and black to the black and see whether the pump makes any noise which will let us know that the pump is capable of working with 5 volt. So let me just touch the wire and see whether we hear any voice or not and I hope you can see that it is rotating so the pump is also capable of working with a 5 volt power supply and let's just check how much current it is taking with a 5 volt power supply so I've got myself a USB meter here there we go so let me just plug my USB meter in so USB meter is in and let me plug the uh, cable You can see we are getting 5 volt and when I connect the pump to the wire we should be able to see the current that we are drawing from the 5 volt charger. So you can see the pump is running and we are drawing very small current about 46 milliamp. Now I've got myself a 6 volt, a 7 volt solar panel here. As you can see at the back, you can see uh, about a 6 volt solar panel. Is your negative and positive. Uh, this is a very small panel, not very big. Uh, when I bought it, they said that it can give up to 2.4 watt. But in actually, uh, in my actual testing, it doesn't give that amount of power. So let's just see uh, in this amount of lighting whether the pump is able to run or not. So I'm going to connect the positive to the red both these wire correspond to the positive and let me just connect the black to the black and positive to the positive and it is not able to run in this small sunlight let me bring the solar panel closer to the window and it is still not running so let me just take the solar panel under the bright sunlight and see whether the pump is able to run Alright, so I've got my simple uh, solar setup. I've got the pump and a small container that is filled with water. So let me just drop it in. It's coming. The red one is the positive and the black one is the negative. So I've got my I've got some alligator clips which I'm going to use to connect it to the solar panel. So the positive connected. Let's connect the negative. And the negative is also connected. So let me just grab my solar panel. So this is a 6 volt panel and let's connect the positive so at the back of the solar panel you can see there is your plus and the minus so 
so the red wire will go to the plus of the solar panel let me just do that so the red wire is connected and then we've got uh, the negative and I've connected two wire to the negative so let's connect the black wire which will connect to the negative of the solar panel So I've got my black alligator clip that's connected to the solar panel. As you can see the pump is not running yet because the solar panel is not facing the sun. So let me put the solar panel in the direction of the sun and as you can see so the pump is running. And the good thing of having a separate solar panel is that you can orient the solar panel in a direction where you're getting best sunlight unlike those which have the uh, fixed solar panel and they sit flat like that because in such situation you get very less sunlight in this case i can put the solar panel in any direction and i will be able to get maximum from the sun and as you can see it went cloudy and the pump is still able to run with very small light and this is just a six volt panel as you can see at the back six volt stopped because it became cloudy so you can see the sun is out again and if I tilt the solar panel up the pump again starts working so the pump needs a little bit of pump in the beginning and now I can lay down the solar panel and the pump will keep on working and by the way the time at the moment is 430 so not the very brightest Sun at the moment but there we go the pump definitely works and you can also make it run using a 6 volt solar panel so there we go this was my video on this uh, small DC uh, solar pump you can run this uh, pump either with a 5 volt power supply or a 12 volt power, power supply or anything in between in my video I was able to run this pump with a 5 volt charger and it is clearly mentioned on the uh, pump that it can run with a 12 volt DC supply so there is no problem I was also able to run this pump with a very small uh, 6 volt solar panel so you can easily install this uh, uh, under the sun and use it in your uh, bird bath or a small fountain i'm going to be using this in a small diy fountain or a bird bath and the wire that comes with the pump is about uh, two feet long uh, the pump has uh, input and uh, output and for size comparison i've got myself a double size battery so as you can see the pump is very very small and looks very cute so there we go this was my video on this uh, pump i hope you found this video helpful thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.